Hello everyone and welcome to an abandoned sanctuary. This is my first survival playthrough and um, this is a settlement that helped through the early stages of the game. Now everyone's uh, over at Abernathy working the farm and provisioning lines. So uh, this settlement provided me everything I needed for my first run through. Uh, you can see in the back I had my recruitment beacon, my power armor station and in the distance is my uh, first house for, for the farm workers. So this is my power armor station. It also houses the uh, power generator and the uh, recruitment beacon there. Did have a guard stationed in front. And nothing overly fancy, uh, standard stuff really. Uh, recruitment beacon that just slid between the two corner pieces quite nicely. Just a small generator, didn't need a lot of electricity for this place. And uh, plenty of room to get in the back of the uh, power armor suit. Did have his mini gun stood on the side there, but the uh, settlers kept stealing that, so uh, I put it in a safer place. And this is the, uh, the set from the roof of the uh, museum in Concord. Uh, but it's got the um, legendary chess piece from the Polymer, Polymer Labs in Cambridge. So, like I say, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. Power comes out of the hole to the uh, recruitment beacon and across to the uh, the first settler's house. With the settler's house, I did try getting a bit fancy with some uh, different angles. Um, so it's not just a box, which is which is nice, but again, nothing overly complicated. Built up on stilts because it's next to the river. And metal corner piece acting as a support there, which I like. And inside, six beds. They uh, they had a party before they uh, left for Abernathy. It's a recreational drinking area. Some jet, some smokes, if that's your thing. And again, looking out good views over what's coming into Sanctuary nice view over the lake back down on the way out the settlers could either exit right to where the farm was or uh, go down to the river And this is my first player house. Again, built up because we're on the side of the river. The turret there for defence. And a cooking station for when I needed to prepare food and keep it away from the settlers in the, uh, in the storage there. Needed some workstations early on, so I placed them there. Little viewing spot again over the bridge. Some storage and a, a bed. I kept my valuables in the uh, in the suitcase under there for when Carla came. And out front, some uh, some defences to help keep me uh, keep me safe. Did have dog meat stationed here, and I I got a dog from Jean early on, sir. So couple of dogs for defence. And this here, uh, because it's my first survival playthrough, I, w I wasn't in the habit of filling my bottles before storing them in the workbench. So I ended up making this so I could come straight in, down to the river, fill up my water bottles, and, uh, and then come up past the flamingos to the cooking station and store them there. So, so yeah. 
this is what helped me uh, through the early stages of the game and I'm really enjoying it and to finish the video a uh, trip down the road to Abernathy where we've got Sheffield looking badass in the guard station over in the uh, field at the bottom of the, the farm so I just wanted to uh, just show a couple of uh, guard station builds that I've done so I needed some defences because uh, this is one of only two occupied settlements that I've got at the minute the other one being um, Oberlin station so it's another small guard station looking out and down here past the floating razor grain another elevated guard station with uh, some turrets underneath the uh, shat supported shack bridge we've got the corner piece underneath a raider tent covering the little seating area for when uh, he needs to take a break and across this way got the big guard station and again the guard looking over the top with some uh, extra turrets for the defence I just want to end by by showing the, the progress that I've made so far uh, this is how my special looks at the moment these are my, uh, my weapons I've, I've just been and bought Wastelander's friend from Bunker Hill for my main pistol and my, my sniper is, is also a pistol I, I really love this gun it serves me well in, in the early game and until I start investing in riflemen um, I, I can't really, I don't have anything to replace it, it's, this, this is just outfires everything else that I've got so if you don't know about this gun it's, uh, it's worth checking out, it is a pipe pistol but you can, you can bump this up really well in the early game and a uh, quick chat Basically just a gunslinger, sneak, gun nut, long wanderer, armourer, locksmith, local leader, scrapper and I'm investing in strong back because I, I need that, that carry capacity. So that's essentially it. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope to see you back in the future. Thank you.